Pasco, pero I'm still wearing my Christmas colors because we are celebrating the season on all the way until January, actually. At ito pa ang aming uh, late na pamasko para sa inyo. Kasama natin isang Philippine icon. Everybody calls him the Elvis Presley of the Philippines, but he is so much more than that. Kasama natin here on Kababayan Today, Eddie Mesa. Hi, uh, Tito hello, Eddie. Hello, hi, Tusel, how are you? I'm very good. Thank you so much for finally agreeing to, to come to the show. I know you're so busy. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's my pleasure, you know. I mean, yes, that... Um, Thank you for inviting me. All right. So mm -hmm. there are lots of things that are happening in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, you are very busy being a pastor. Let's talk about that because I know, uh, Tito Eddie, that you've gone through this transformation in your life. You claim to uh, say that you were lost once and you found Jesus and now you're a pastor. What is the work that you do? Actually, I am an evangelist. Okay. okay, so there's you are a not, difference there's between a, difference. a pastor and an evangelist. Please tell us what the difference is. <laughs> a pastor is the one that takes care of a church. Mm -hmm. He's there every Sunday mm -hmm. taking care of the flock. An evangelist is uh, traveling all the time, mm -hmm. invited in different churches, mostly Filipino churches. Okay, so you uh, have sharing been... Sharing the gospel, yeah. You've been all over... Mm -hmm. um, traveling everywhere. Oh, yes. Hindi ba nakakapagod yun? Nakakapagod din. You know, but by God's grace, you know, He would give us traveling mercies and all that. Okay, so sabi, uh, sabihan nyo naman kami, where are the places you have been to because oh, of wow. this work that you do? Well, um, here in L.A., in the East Coast, in the Midwest, like... Um, We've been to Texas, we've been to Arizona. Okay, and, and uh, all of these places, maraming mga Pilipino. Filipino. Yeah. Okay. Karamihan can you Filipino. Can you share with us, how are the Filipinos all over the United States? Um, what do you mean? Well, of course, they're hungry for Kapa Filipino. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time you see a Filipino, you like to talk to them. Uh -oh. But they're okay. They are, um, they, they are, they have a lot of um, clubs and... You know, so that people come together come as a together. They really, they really would like to come together. Uh -oh. to, to, you know, being here in America, of course, uh, this is not, uh, we were not born and raised here, but we became an American citizen. So we would like to um, uh, go around and congregate with your coffee de pino, you uh -oh. know. Um, especially after, after a service, after I preach, after I share the gospel. There is a fellowship, and of course, Filipino food is served. <laughs> yes. Why are you so passionate, Tito Eddie, about your faith? Well, because uh, a lot of people have a wrong notion mm. regarding well, going to heaven mm -hmm. and not and not going to hell. Right? Mm. Uh, there is a place called heaven, and there's a place called hell. Many people don't believe that, but see, not believing that it doesn't exist does not mean it's not there. It is Jesus Christ Himself said that there is a place called hell and as a matter of fact he talked more about hell than heaven because he is warning people that there is a place and also he showed us how to get away from the penalty of our sin. Mm. Uh, Tito Eddie can you share with us what led you? What led me? What led you? What was happening in your life at this time that mm. you were able to find Jesus Christ because I know you were you were you're an icon you know you had access to uh the world at your feet yes but yes. what was it that brought you to the lord that that's that's the reason why because i felt that i have the world at my feet and i was not really um being a good father and a good husband to Tito rose mm. and so uh, i did a lot of things that i should not be doing i was not faithful to her that's that's really the thing and okay and uh, because of that, our marriage broke up. When that happened, when Marshall was declared, I was looking for peace. I was looking for the answer. And being brought up as a Catholic, I took up the Corsini, but it did not help me um, change, you know. And then as I was uh, searching, I became a member of different Eastern religious groups mm -hmm. with the promise of peace, but I didn't get it there too. Mm -hmm. Until somebody, until I met somebody when I was about to go to, when I wanted to go to Las Vegas to sing there. And this band leader said, Ed, even if you make it in Las Vegas, you're still going to be miserable. You will not have peace. Even if you have more money, it will, you know, the answer, that will not give you peace. The only one that can give you that is that religion even. 
but a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And that is when we, I started getting to read the Bible, and then I realized that God loves us so much despite our sin that He died for us, and He resurrected from, from the dead to prove to us that He is God. And all I have to do is to admit that I'm a sinner and that uh, I have to turn away from them. Okay. Of course, uh, being human, you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. You don't have the power. But Christ came to destroy the power of sin in your life for you to be able to turn away from it. And so to make the longest story short, um, I confessed my sin and I said, Lord, I don't want to do this anymore. That is about a couple of months after Elvis Presley passed away in San Francisco, California. And I received the Lord Jesus Christ. See, he promised, if anyone hears my voice, he said, I'm knocking at the door of your heart. There is Elvis. <laughs> oh, the, the photo is uncanny. Come on, come on, come on, no? But since receiving Christ into your life, obviously your life has changed. Yes. Leaps and bounds. Yes, because of this promise. He mm -hmm. said, if you open your heart to me, he said, I will come in. And the moment he comes into you, all of your sins are forgiven. And since he is the Prince of Peace, Yes. You will have peace. Right. And, and so when that happened, I, I was transformed from within. And that is right. the answer. So I have passion that because uh, we need transformation, not that's reformation. Right. And a lot of people have a wrong notion about how to have a personal relationship right. with the Lord. I'm glad Jesus you're Christ. here, Tito Eddie, to share with us how to find that personal relationship. Magbabalik kami here on Kababayan Today with Eddie Mesa.